Hello everybody, welcome to another 31 days of Halloween on my channel. Today we've got an acrylic set, yay! Lately I've just been doing gel designs, but today we have acrylic. So there's a lot going on here, so I'm just going to jump right into this and get started. So I already prepped her nails and to do that I filed off all her old stuff and prepped and primed and applied a thin layer of clear acrylic over top of all her nails. So I'm starting here with the pinky and I'm just using this really really sparkly almost black holographic glitter all over the whole nail. The brush I'm using here is Ugly Duckling number 10 brush and I've gone back and forth between angles here because for this set I decided to film with both cameras and I found it actually a lot harder to edit doing that so I don't know if I'm going to use the two camera angles but we'll see. For this entire set she wanted black, green, purple, and orange so I'm just applying some chunky inlays of purple on her pinky. On her ring finger, I'm applying the black holographic glitter again because on this nail, I'm gonna be doing a 3D skull. So I'm just doing it plain and black underneath. I will be encapsulating all of these nails, so I'm just applying it thin. For her middle finger, I'm applying this amazing bright neon orange. This is from Glam and Glitz. The color is called Overheat. It has tiny silver glitters in it. It's super pretty, super bright. So for this nail, we played around with it and I did a bunch of different designs on it. But in the end, it turned out to be just the orange, which I was okay with because goddamn, this orange is so bright. I love it. I applied some see-through orange glitters over top, which gave a kind of green glow to them because they're iridescent and see-through and it looked super cute. For this set, we were really just winging it, so she decided to do the glittery black again on this finger. And on the at the end of the designs here, we're adding crystals and some 3D stuff, some 3D sculpted stuff and uh, some stamping. So on this nail, I just did black with some black inlays. For the purple glitter we picked for this set, it was just a loose glitter and not one that was pre-mixed with acrylic. So I had to dip my brush in monomer, dip it in clear acrylic, and pick up the glitter and then place it on the nail, which made it a little bit harder to work with. As you can see around the cuticle area here, I didn't get it quite smooth, but I always work on that and always try to make it perfect before I finish the set. So I am doing that. I'm just fading this up and then I'm going to work back on over the cuticle area again. I just picked up more acrylic and just lightly drag it across the cuticle area, trying not to touch the skin, just to fill in that extra space that wasn't perfect. And then I'm just adding this really fun, chunky green and black glitter on the end of the snail. Moving on to her pinky on her other hand, again applying a glitter that was not pre-mixed with acrylic, which makes it a lot harder to work with. So I recommend mixing your loose glitters with clear acrylic, but sometimes I don't like to just in case I want to use them as a sugar effect, and sugar effect does not work so well if it's already pre-mixed with acrylic. So I had a little bit of troubles with this, and we didn't really like this color as much, so we're covering it up with black inlays, and I'm going to be doing a spider web design on top. This nail is my favorite nail of the set. Well, one of my favorite nails of the set. So I'm applying this black acrylic on top of this nail and then I'm going to immediately cap it in clear acrylic because I'm doing a net imprint on top. I'm just applying more of that chunky green glitter on top and then I'm going to be encapsulating this nail right away because I like to push my net imprint into a nail that immediately encapsulated. I just find it works better when the underneath color isn't completely hard. It makes a better net imprint. 
After encapsulating that nail, I allow that to dry for a few seconds and then put her finger on a stand. And then I push the net into loose clear acrylic and then push it gently but firmly into the nail and creating this little net imprint here. To get it out, shake it back and forth. And then I'm immediately filling those ridges with Journey to Mars from Glam and Glitz. It's a glow in the dark color. On her middle finger on this hand, I'm just adding a small amount of the black holographic glitter around her cuticle area and I'm going to be fading this into the same purple I used on her other hand. I'm adding some glitter purple inlays in between these colors and in the end I'm going to be applying crystals on top of this nail. For her pointer finger on this hand, I'm just applying the black holographic all over from cuticle to tip and then I'm just going to be applying some orange and black inlays on top of this. And the last nail on her thumb, I'm applying this lovely orange again from the cuticle down and then I'm applying the purple on top of that at the tip and some green inlays on top of that. So now I'm just encapsulating all these nails and applying clear and I'm just applying a little bit further back from the cuticle and using the tip of my brush to push the clear towards the cuticle and use the tip of my brush to pull from the sidewalls and the belly to create the apex and cover the tip. I pull with a very light hand and gentle pressure to glide the acrylic along the nail where I want it to be without making any air bubbles or taking it all off. After encapsulating all 10 nails, I come back to finish file, starting with the pinky of the other hand, and now this hand is dry. I'm using my fine gold cone carbide to debulk the nail around the cuticles and side walls. I try to apply my acrylic so that I have minimal finish filing to do at the end. I've showed this on my page many times. I have a few videos of me doing this. I'll link anything in the description box showing you guys more steps to finish filing. Where the net imprint is, I'm just gently going over it to take off any excess color which will reveal the cool net imprint underneath and this is how you do it. Gently use a cone carbide and get all that extra acrylic off with a light pressure. After I've debulked the nails, I come back with a hand file and make nice sharp sidewalls and the tip. And then I just go back over the top of the nails to smooth out any scratches and make it even. To finish the nails, I buff them with a white buffing block. To smooth them out even more, dust off all the dust, spray with 99% alcohol, and wipe off all the dust. After both hands have been filed and are finished, I'm just using Afterglow by Glam and Glitz to create 3D eyeballs. I've done this in a past video. You can just click on the right top corner here to watch that video I've already done on these. But I'm doing it here because I did this video in this set before that video. I just haven't finished editing this and it just took me a while to get to this video. I'm just applying veins in the eyeballs using a small striping brush. Just adding black for the pupil and then a highlight as well. Now I'm just adding some green slime coming down from the eyeball. This is Victoria by Bio Seaweed Gel. This is one of the easiest Halloween designs ever. You seriously can't go wrong and there's no way you can make a mistake doing this. 
I'm just speeding through this because this actually took me quite a long time. So I'm using a 3D lace gel from Crystal Nails. I got this from the Pink Chair Salon. I'll post everything in the description box. This design, I was inspired from a photo online that did not have a watermark in it. Basically, you put the paste down and you use alcohol and a gel brush to maneuver it and move it around. And you can use any tool to make dents and lines in it. And then it doesn't cure until you stick it in the lamp. So it's pretty awesome. I've already done a few designs with this already. This is probably my favorite stuff ever. It's sometimes better to use than acrylic if you're doing something more intricate because you don't want it to cure. So I fully cured that skull and now I'm moving on to stamping. So I'm just using any stamps I have in my collection that my client picked out and my clear jelly stamper to pick up the design and place it on the nail. Anything that gets on the skin will be cleaned up at the end with alcohol, acetone, or nail polish remover. So for this nail, I did a waterfall crystal design and then I went on and added some spider web stamps on her other finger with some orange crystal butts. So now I'm just top coating these all with a shiny top coat and giving that a full cure. And here is the finished result. Which one is your favorite? I can't pick between the eyeball and the skull. Let me know in the comments section what you're being for Halloween. Check back tomorrow for more 31 days of Halloween and don't forget to share, like, comment, subscribe, keep your nails long and your glitter strong.